What's up guys, Stu Dog here, welcome back to more Stewie Duels, so today we're going to be dueling in the new format here, because F the current format, I'm going to be seeing if this deck is still viable. True Draco matchup bad, but it seems like Grass looks greener, this deck uh, lost to a lot of 60 card decks just because you always wanted to play 40. So it's just pure win witch invoke, they had their fair share of YCS tops, I know the one guy went undefeated at the YCS with it. Didn't end up winning the YCS, but undefeated in Swiss. So anyway, yeah, this hand is very good. Whenever you got the Maxi, this hand is phenomenal. Everything you want. You got D-Barrier and Maxi. You got Wonder Wand, draw cards, terraforming for the free. <sighs> the free fusion. And then of course the Ice Bell for the free. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So we're going to activate the effects. Special summon our Wind Witch Glass Spell to add ourselves the tuner. And burn for 500 while we're at it, because I mean, why not? This guy's a big fan of my card sleeves. Yeah, I like these card sleeves. I got Roger making fun of guys from American Dad, and of course, Saul Goodman. One of my favorite characters and one of my favorite shows right now. So I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad. And better call Saul. <laughs> He's a hilarious character. So, uh, we'll do the effect on glass to burn for a minus. So, minus 800. And then the Crystal Wing Synchron Dragon. And then we'll activate Terraforming and see if he has the glass spell. Or not the glass spell, the, uh, the Ghost Ash. Ghost Ogre, Ghost Ash, pretty good. Or Ash Blossom. Ah, I'm still not used to the freaking TCG name. Yeah, basically the ratio I have is just two Ash Blossoms, two Ghost Ogres. Ghost Ogre is still really good, and it's a light. The problem is this is a fire, so a lot of the times you would go first turn Ghost Ogre and your Invoked guy in for the Light Fusion. But the Fire Fusion is pretty garbage because all it does is just pierce. So, yeah. Still want to play the couple Ghost Ogres, but at the same time, Ash Blossom is just too good not to play. I mean, it's just way too good not to play. So, I'll play our Magical Meltdown to add ourselves Alistair. Normal Summon that, add ourselves the Invocation. Wonder Wand targeting the Alistair, and then we'll. Tribute it. Oh, it doesn't tribute. It just sends them both to the graveyard. And that's good. Side deck and mask restrict. So we got a free pot of greed. Oh yeah. Drawn to um, Ash Blossom. That's very good. We got multiple hand traps and dimensional barrier. So now we can go for our invocation shenanigans. Pretty sure this deck is pretty cheap now. I don't invocation. It was like fifty dollars when it first came out. And our mech of a fusion monster was 20 but now I think invocation is only like $20 a pop and this card is like 15 now it might be 25 but still it's pretty cheap d berry is only like 30 but you already know that's going to get reprinted in a couple months in the megatons swear to god kunami if you don't reprint d barrier it'd be salty most expensive card is ash blossom which is still like 70 but anyway um, that's all I got so have fun that's all I got to say. Have fun, men. Saber Fox. Got himself a 45 card deck with 13 in the extra deck. Lucky number 13. Well, let's Ash Blossom that. I mean, why not, man? You don't need it, boy. I don't think he needs it. He might need it, though. His Pot of Duality activated after the terraforming. That's fine. And, ah, it's going to be True Draco's Ill. Our opening's really good, but will it be good enough? Because Maxi's pretty useless. d is pretty useless. That's the problem. This is like this deck's worst matchup, especially if it's just pure True Draco. Well, the thing is, how is he getting past this Crystal Wing Synchron Dragon, though? It can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, yeah, that is fine. 
Oh yeah, pretty unfortunate. So he's gonna be destroying the disciples in his hand. To add himself, true king's return. Okay then. Aren't you supposed to set this? <laughs> this card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard and can target one spell or trap. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that has to be s destroyed while it's actually set in the spell and trap card zone. Yeah, so I'll let him take it back, I guess. So I'm not one of those scumbags who um, says, Oh, too late, no take backs. <laughs> so, I'll let him take it back. Why not? And then if he destroys it, he'll go after my D barrier, and then I chain call. XYZ, I guess. Don't really want to call Synchro because I'm going to gate my own Crystal Wing. <laughs> hey, he can't even special summon. <laughs> he can't even special summon, my bad. Yeah, he played Pot, but whatever. Might as well chain for the fans at home. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else Saber Fox is going to be doing. He added himself the trap. He doesn't even know what's in his extra deck, yeah. Maxi is going to be pretty dang useless. Alright. So he's going to tribute True King's return. And return is going to target the region most likely, unless he doesn't know how to read cards. Okay. Okay, effect on that set his knuckles for me still kinda mad they changed this guy's name it's like knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog they changed his name so we'll set that feast down defense and I guess he can get the effect get a free true Draco trap or not <laughs> I mean I guess crystal wing could have just negated it anyway so I guess it's smart for him not to do that and it's back to the good guys turn artifact sanctum's very clutch draw I'll go for moral attack and pop that feast of dragonic diagram as I don't think I I side deck cosmic cyclones but I don't think I play a whole lot of back row removal actually Anyway, without further ado, go for another Alistair the Invoker. Activate his effect, and that effect is fine. And this will be able to add myself Invocation from the deck to the hand. And then we got another Wonder Wand here. I don't know if I should continue playing three Wonder Wands, actually. Maybe I should take one out for another Cosmic Cyclone. I don't know. I should start main decking that. Then again, Wonder One's just so good. So I'll we'll send that to the graveyard, draw a couple of cards. So let's see what we get. Ooh, another Ash Blossom. It's clutch. So now we don't technically have to use Sanctum on the diagram. We can just Ash Blossom it. I guess that could be decent. Yeah, very glad that they did that new bandless thing. Very glad. So I'll play the invocation now and this is what we're talking about. We don't have a light to go for. If only this was a light, it's a fire. I could go for the piercing guy, but the piercing guy sucks. So we're just gonna have to Hmm. 
guess we just it doesn't really matter which one we banish go for another one of the oh there's a loom lose one turn chained to the invocation I mean that's fine I guess the clutch lose one turn So we get the graveyard effect at invocation once again and then we'll attack with our crystal wing into a set monster lose one turn pretty good card and I guess we should save I don't know card of demise is pretty scary but I guess we probably will have to use ash blossom on the diagram probably Yeah, just end our turn. <laughs> but lose one turn, man. It kind of like really messes up my artifact morale attack. Literally just completely messes it up. Can't do anything. So we'll just Ash Blossom that. <laughs> Rip. Hopefully no card in a mize doesn't get destroyed this doesn't destroy yeah that is ghost ogre ghost ogre would be a better card in the current situation just negates it all right so still in turn that'd be busted <laughs> Yes, indeed, that would be busted. The useless dimensional barrier. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, three, four, five, six. That's sixty-two. Ouch! Oh, I should have played the sanctum in the end phase. Not oh, my bad. Might have just threw the game right in there. Wasn't even paying attention. Rip. Wasn't even paying attention, boy. But uh, it's fine. We could actually go for. One of my favorite cards. One of my favorite fusions. Oh, is that a random Psyframe Gear Gamma? Alright. Ah! Uh, Crystal Negate. So I guess that will. Pump me up to 4,000 attack, and that'll be 4, 5, 6. That's just 7k right there. So, yeah, him activating the Cyframe Gear Gamma kind of like lost me the game. Alright, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> Never really the best way to actually draw the Cyframe Driver. And the Max C2, which I guess we could have chained to the Cyframe. We wanted to get a little bit fancy there, but anyway. Why would it have to be set? <laughs> He's talking about the the disables. It doesn't technically have to be set, but if he wants to pop my back row, it has to go from um, his spell or trap card zone, as it says right there. Uh, but yeah, beating true Dracos, even though uh, we kind of opened the complete and utter nuts. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Thank you all for watching this episode of Stewie Duels. As always, we'll be back um, next week with Dog Stew Duels. And then the week after that, will the Boundless Cup be in actual effect? I actually don't think it will. God dang it. So it's still going to be probably another three to four weeks until we actually get the Boundless into effect. But anyway, thank you all for watching as always. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.